on this episode of SI Weekly. We talked about a lot of great system integrators on the show and Exotic PC is not one of them. So I'm gonna tell you exactly why and more in this episode of SI Weekly. Let's go nerds. Hello everyone, I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to SI Weekly. And yes, we're talking about another not great SI here. Now, this is not on the level, at least as far as I can tell, it is not on the level of the uh, gone but not forgotten light gaming PCs and the um, wish we could have forgotten about them, Apex gaming PCs. No, 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 not quite as bad as that, at least as far as I know so far, but it's pretty bad. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why and how it's bad after I let you know this video is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you CDK deals for continuing to support the channel. Okay, so first a couple disclaimers. This video is being recorded for the week of Monday the 25th of March 2024. Any pricing and availability that you see here can and will likely change if you watch this video much later. Regardless though, you shouldn't buy from them in my estimation anyway. So it doesn't matter that much, but whatever. That's just my opinion. Speaking of which, that's the second disclaimer is that you're gonna hear opinions here. And I'm gonna toss around some hyperbole, some um, sarcasm, some humor, things like that. And um, yeah, that's just, that's YouTube. That's my opinion. And I have every right to share that but that opinion is gonna be based on things we're actually seeing here versus my years of experience in, um, in building custom PCs, in uh, the IT industry, in selling and repairing PCs, doing all kinds of stuff like that. And in doing this, where I scrutinize system integrators, which I've been doing for a few years now. So uh, that's where that comes from. However, just because I am sharing these opinions, okay, third disclaimer, this is not financial advice. I'm not trying to tell you how or where to spend your money or to where not to spend your money. I would suggest you not spend your money at uh, Exotic PC, but I'll tell you why. Oh, we'll go into it. Don't you worry. And then uh, the final thing is that uh, if you are on the fence, if you're if you're if you're wanting a gaming PC or a PC for any use case, any reason, and uh, you're trying to decide, I kind of want to do DIY, but you know, I kind of want to get a pre-built. If that's the case, seriously consider DIY because you can save a good amount of money, you learn a lot of great stuff on the way, and there's tons of ways to learn how to do it. However, both ways are completely valid options for getting a PC, whether DIY or pre-built. This channel is pretty much dedicated to helping people who want to get into PCs find the right pre-built for them because it is the number one gateway into PC gaming and yes, also PC DIY. I started on a pre-built and most of the people that you know that do DIY started that way too. Anyway, that's gonna be it for those. Let's get into it. Exotic PC. My goodness, I've talked about these guys a couple times and uh, they sure are exotic in their own special little way. That is for certain. Uh, first off, points to their favor right there. They don't have some weird AI generated nonsense on here. This is an actual gaming computer. Good job, Exotic PC. You're already ahead of Apex. We'll see how far ahead though. So the problems start right away, right here. So right here, top selling PCs. These four things right here, you can just add them to cart immediately. And you should not do that with a single one of them. Not one of these is suitable for its price even if they look like they are, like they're a crazy good deal because uh, that's how this is formulated to go, okay? Say this one right here, and it looks like something that's way too nice to be $849. It looks too good to be true. Now, what do we say about things that are that look too good to be true? 
I don't need to finish that, do I? You know the rest, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So first off, exotic PC. I gotta tell you something. It's something you need to stop immediately, okay? You need to stop with bare LED strips with no diffusion, all right? It's very 2015 of you. Y'all are supposed to be professionals. This looks not good is the, the gentle way to say that, all right? The actual thing you should feel even more awful about is this. Putting this picture here next to the price of $849 and not saying anything here about the fact that this is pictured with some very expensive options. Much more expensive than the Ryzen 5 5600G processor that you have in here by default. With no dedicated GPU, which by the way, isn't that kind of weird because right here I see a dedicated GPU. Isn't that weird? That's so weird. Oh look, A520M motherboard doesn't match the one in there. You don't say anything about it. Oh, 500 gig M.2 drive. Yeah, by the way, for those of you who might think I'm the only guy out here saying the 500 gigs is not enough storage for any system at this, at this point in time in 2024, yeah, it's not just me. You know, Jay's two cents from Jay himself. I got him saying that in a clip. If you want to watch it, I'll put it up right now. I don't believe any computer today should come with less than a terabyte. Exactly. And even then, I, if I see a terabyte, I'm, I need to add at least another one. Right. That's right. One terabyte is the minimum and it's quickly becoming not enough. But anyway, these specs suck. And you're going to find out that despite that, Exotic PC loves these specs and will put them in anything to have a very aggressive starting at price boy we love the starting at price don't we now now something i want to show you real quick that is hilarious these are these are these are like very 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 budget spec but the default for your cables is a uh, handmade braided cables where you get to choose your colors and they will hand make braided cables for you like look I like arts and crafts as much as the next person, but like that's time and money. Like you could take the money from that get, use the default cables from the power supply and like put a GPU in here and listen up. When I say a GPU, I do not mean the NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030 that for some reason you guys are still purchasing to install into computers. Like y'all know that thing sucks, right? Like at that point, this is like a display adapter at this point. That's all it's good for. Okay. Like that's no, I know exactly why you guys are buying these and it is for, uh, this right here, starting at 689, starting at 739, starting at 739, starting at 799, starting at, uh, at 899. And this is when you're in their extreme series gaming desktops and you have better believe this. Like, look, watch this. Watch what happens when I go to tiny URL. Oh, look, would you just look at that? The aggressive marketing kicks in. Like I look at other SIs all the time, but like three ads, there's a PC 849. And yes, this one says 2199. This one says 8,500, but two of the PCs here in this illustrious company of other more expensive PCs, uh, say in a sub $1,000 price. But when you actually go to look at these, uh, th this one here, 1179 in the Hyperion case from Asus, that is an expensive case, right? I can't believe they'll build a system in that for just 1179. That's amazing. It's not, it's really sad. And it's a waste of that case. Check it out. So what do they do once they get you, right? Because that's what they do. They try to get you. And then they're like, by the way, these are the pre-configured builds that you can get. And uh, it's not 1179. You didn't like believe that, did you? You believed it when we said that? That's so weird. You're so weird. Well, here you go. There's the spec with that. It's uh, here, you can customize it. It's just basically the same as the other system we looked at. Yeah, integrated. Um, Vega graphics in the 5600G, A520M motherboard, 500 gig M.2 drive, 16 gigs DDR4 in an Asus ROG Hyperion case. 
This is a culmination of all the problems that I have with this, okay? Because you have the bait and switch of the starting at prices, okay? The pictures that show a fully built out, spec'd out, optioned out PC with no disclaimer under the photo saying that this is shown with options. Maybe throw in an estimated price with options under the picture so that you're disclosing necessary information to consumers. That's what I would call that. Y'all don't even know what to put on this one system because there's like two completely separate cases here. Two completely separate systems are being pictured here. You didn't build a system and then take pictures of that one system. It's just, you'll just shove a bunch of pictures into one spec or whatever, right? Like these are both Y series cases from height. Yes, I get it. Maybe that's what that is but like nothing on either of those pictures states that that is shown with options. Like Exotic, I know it's a tough industry, okay? I know that, but don't resort to this. Don't resort to this nonsense. Oh my God, you have this top ad here too now. I wanna say you're better than this, but I honestly don't know that you are. But it's the peppering in of systems that are sub $1,000 with the really high end systems where it's like that assists the bait and switch and these systems that are showing for $21.99 or $8,000 th these are ready to ship computers and boy oh boy let me tell you this is a whole other onion to peel is that a thing people say I, it, whatever it is I'm saying it most of these are terrible most of these suck some of them are borderline okay and then, then you, you compare prices with other places and you're like oh it's cheaper elsewhere oh okay later exotic so what is so bad here that I actually used them as an example of what not to do in my video, in my last video for SI Weekly, where I showed people how to properly spec out a gaming PC. Well, check out this little guy right here. This is the, uh, the Y40 SW Ghost ready to ship system. Okay. It comes in at $21.99. And this certainly looks like a PC that should be around 2,200 bucks. It's gorgeous. You see, this thing comes with a great processor, uh, 14700KF. That is a 20 core CPU, eight performance cores. And then you got yourself 12 efficiency cores. Yeah, right under that. That is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060. The reason I use this as an example in the video before was this is an example of a system that is upside down, okay? If you're building a gaming PC, unless you have a very specific thing in mind that is very much more reliant upon the CPU, okay? Uh, your GPU is a priority. That's a priority to make the biggest difference in your gaming experience. That's why I call this upside down. More money and it just more budget went into the CPU than it should have instead of going towards the GPU. That's upside down. No PC for over $2,000 should have a 60 class card from NVIDIA, period. Here we go, 1889, um, Project Zero. So it's a Project Zero PC, meaning the cables are all towards the back. That's really cool, that's great. It's almost $1,900 with a 4060. Uh, there's another one and that is, oh look, $2,600 with a 4070. Good job, guys. Wow. Oh, this one's great. This one's great. I had it open right here. This is the Vision Ghost. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, what's spooky is the fact that this thing's 2319 and it has a 4060 in it. That's what's scary here. And you can't change it, by the way. If you're thinking you can, this is boxed up, ready to ship, baby. If you want to see how an O11 Vision case should be utilized by a system integrator, how it should be spec'd out for around this price, Get subscribed so you don't miss that. Live unboxing and shakedown tests and all that stuff, that is the place for that. So anyways, whatever, this PC sucks. But surely this has to be the worst. This has to be the worst example, right? That's gotta be the worst one. Surely this must be the, no, it's not the worst one. And don't call me Shirley. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right down here. Look at this nonsense. $2,800 of computer, 14,700KF, and an RTX 4060, because they love the, they love the 4060, man. They, woo boy, they really do, those guys. These crazy guys, they love that 4060. Please stop. This is embarrassing. I'm out here defending SIs 
from like, you know, my fellow DIY, DIY enthusiasts, those that sometimes get a bit too much into their own hobbies and say that, oh, everyone, all pre-built suck. Everybody needs to just build their own PCs. And even if that's a complete logical fallacy and it makes zero sense and all they look for on YouTube is confirmation bias and yada, yada, that's its own problem, okay? But y'all are feeding into that because this computer sucks for the price. And no, don't tell me that this thing is like, oh, it's for creator PC. They couldn't even spend the extra $25 to get the non-F Intel processor so that you could utilize QuickSync in this pro art PC. It's so idiotic to waste pro art components on a system that couldn't video edit its way out of a wet paper bag. That's a little emotional. Getting a little emotional and I apologize for that. Okay. I just don't like stupid PC builds and really dumb specs from people who should know better. Did you know, uh, I almost called you Apex. Wow. Wow, you guys are really making it. You're getting there because this is actually something that they do too, um, to the letter. Like that's actually pun intended, but it wasn't intended, but I'm claiming it now to the letter because that letter F, okay? Did you know that you can buy Intel processors without that letter? I don't think you know that. Uh, exotic PC, not Apex, exotic PC. I don't think you know that. You know why? Well, let's take a little stroll through their ready to ship section here. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. 14900K F. All right. Uh, did, oh, that's a 5600G. 5, no, okay. Um, that's a laptop. 14700K F. 14700K F. 12400F. 14700K F. 12400F, 14600KF, 14700KF, 12700F, 12100F, 147. Do I need to finish? Because like they have the thing where you can customize PCs, right? Let's go to this Hyperion here. Oh, hey, how about that? Every Intel processor that they carry, except for the just recently launched, brand new, does not have an F SKU, 14900KS. Every single one of these is an F SKU processor. <sighs> Look, exotic PC. I am not the kind of guy to just go after you for no reason, okay? I've got my reasons here. And it's the fact that you do this aggressive marketing with your prices that are the starting at prices that hook people and then disappoint them time after time. You can't be happy with that. Are you? Are you happy to disappoint people? Because there's going to be some kid who saved up 850 bucks and thinks they're going to get something like that. They hit add to cart and then they're just devastated with what they get because it's nothing like the picture. Maybe you're counting on them not checking that. Ask yourself, does that make you a better person then? Then if you didn't, I don't know. It's just, it's really frustrating for me to see stuff like this. If you're going to come back and say, well, other system integrators do this. Yeah. And they like shut down after a while. And here's the thing about a default spec, a starting at price. Okay. A starting at price, the PC that someone gets for that starting at price needs to be a competent PC for that thing it's listed to do, like gaming, okay? If you guys are looking for PCs around that price, $800, $700, $600, do not go to exotic PCs. Do not fall for their stupid little ads that just show bouncy little PCs with all their different prices on them that are just actually untrue unless it's ready to ship. Don't fall for that. Zach's Tech Turf, Toasty Bros, Nerd on a Budget, Oz Talks Hardware, amazing channels, Scattervolt. There are amazing channels out there that will help you make a budget build, okay? Because this ain't it. Exotic PCs, this is my first dedicated video on you guys. Congratulations. It didn't go well, but okay, that's all right. Because you could always fix things. So if you're not sure where to start, Here's what we need to do. 
Because one of the main things that happened with Apex and light gaming PCs, viewers got the word out and um, started telling their stories. Uh, some had some pretty bad stories about their experiences and provided receipts. And that changed things for me. That changed the dialogue, okay? It did teach me some things to look for. And those things, those red flags are planted proudly on your little website, Exotic. We're gonna give the people a chance to share their stories. If anyone out there has purchased from this website, from this company, okay? I don't care whether you had a good or bad experience. We need to hear both. I'm hoping we hear both. I'm not here trying to, you know, trying to, to, to get a company in trouble or shut down or anything like that. That kind of stuff has happened from these videos. I didn't like that. That stressed me out. I don't like that kind of responsibility, okay? But you know what? No one else is doing this. So I'm gonna do what I have to do. I don't like making negative videos, but I don't like seeing stuff like this go and just be ignored. Did you guys know that Jay did a, a tour video at I Buy Power? That was amazing. That was a, it was such a huge thing for me to watch. Like I got emotional watching that because I did the same thing two years ago and it was such a huge deal for me. And um, seeing him just reacting so positively, being so impressed with their operation over there and their website and all that stuff, that's amazing. Though I have my issues with it, I love the way that Gamers Nexus holds companies accountable. You know, I'm not I'm not sure with pre-builts that I, I feel they're doing it the best way possible, but I've talked, I've said my piece there. And if you're there like, whoa, they said something about Tech Jesus. Hello. Hi. I'm a mega fan. All right. He commented, Steve commented on one of my videos and I blew, it, it, I, I, I blew a gasket. It, it, it blew my mind. I was going crazy. I was like, whoa, no, I'm a huge fan. It's not a fan of the way they cover pre-builds all the time. Sometimes I don't like it. But this right here, this thing of just like, uh, you just brush off the dust, you just dig an inch deep and it's just a mess. Past the polish of the website, past the review units going out and the sponsorships and all that BS, things ain't looking so good, Exotic. So guys, share your stories in the comments or in the, uh, in the Discord, or for the most effective way to do it, look in my about section on the, on the channel here. And my email is there. My business email is there. Shoot me an email with the story, some receipts, email chains, whatever. If you had any issues with tech, tech support, customer service. And if all I get are good stories, then there's something good here. So all exotic, you don't necessarily have to worry if you've been doing your jobs, everything should be fine. Right? Right? All right. That'll do it for this one, guys. Come hang out on the streams Tuesdays and Thursdays. I help people find the PCs that are right for them. Um, and, uh, it's one-on-one -on -one help. It's for free. It's not fast, but I do try to help everybody I can. And, uh, there's a list for that. You just f fill out a form and you get there and you'll get on the list. Don't skip that. Don't cut the line. And I'm starting to do gaming streams on Sundays. That's fun. If you're watching this now, I'd finished a, I, I did a Metroid Dread speed run on Sunday night. I hope it went well. I'm an amateur speed run. I'm not, I'm not a professional speed runner. It's my first time doing one on stream and I've only been practicing for like a week and a half. Give me a break. That's just going to be on Twitch though. Just on Twitch, not here on YouTube, by the way. Just over there. It's not PC related content. It's just Twitch then. But that'll do it for this one, guys. I hope you um, learned some stuff out of this. I hope you found it enlightening. And um, until the next one. Take care. I'm not the one